My hand is ruined. I barely even knew Remy. Can help. Till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just wanna go home! I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay, thank you. You saved my life. Don't miss you. You just need help. Lincoln left him with me, and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off of her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Lincoln once told me he couldn't tell any other cheek. That the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. When I was just lying to myself. 
Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness, but greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or a Bobby Kennedy. But there always gonna be another Sal Marcano, another Sammy Robinson. Another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. This is where we find which direction you and I are headed. This is your final chance to make things right between us, brother. Securing a future where we're working together to help our people. And it starts with you giving me this territory. The city's now under our control. And Cassandra, I know our partnership has been in a bit of freefall lately, but I'm hopeful we can work this out. Still, I need to hear from everyone. If you're concerned about Cassandra, you ought to re-examine your fucking priorities. You can't survive in this business by reacting to the emotional state of any asshole who comes along. Jesus, lad. Just give her the district and let's get on with our goddamn lives. You do right by me, or you'll be seeing Richard do set again re Gotta say, this action's perfect for Cassandra. We got a lot to work with here, brother. This is real good. <laughs> I, I halfway figured Lincoln will have killed us all by now. What we done here? Taking the city away from Marcana and doing it without killing each other? We gotta be proud of that. Not everything went the way I would have liked it to go, but I'm proud of what I have and what we starting here. Holy Christ, how the fuck did we make it through this shite in one piece? I thought for a certain Scarlett I'd have his throat slit by now. You did a bang up job here, lad. A goddamn dream come true. Can't wait to see where we go from here. There's one thing I learned in life is that things almost never work out the way you'd like. You gotta roll with it. So, this is me rolling. We're living proof that the ways of Marcano, the lying, the backstabbing, the cheating, don't need to run in that direction. Those ways are as dead as he is. 